Hello and welcome one of these videos how to do stuff. This is uh, information about the widescreen fix for the prototype 1 game and also how you can enchant your graphics. I've done like three of these videos but it seems uh, they're not relevant anymore. And uh, for thanks for some guy in the YouTube, uh, Dragon0114 uh, just put me the message. So the widescreen doesn't have an option to download and GemFX crashes my game. I went and checked this out and it's true, this was the site I was uh, trying to put my link to. And I downloaded this myself a long time ago, but there is definitely no download option here anymore. Doesn't seem to be. But thankfully, I already downloaded this long time ago and I had this file in my computer. So, I uploaded it into the Mediafire myself, and it's right there. The same file that you can download from this side, which you can't anymore, so it's in this. I'm gonna put this link in the description. It's just a re-upload of those resolutions. So hopefully that fixes your resolution. So, on the next subject. So, I was referring here to use GemFX I don't think you should use that anymore. Like this guy said, it crashes your game. Well, it didn't crash for me, but it's definitely not meant for this game. It just worked for me. But better option, which I was trying to prefer um, people before, was reshade. Reshade graphics plus widescreen fix. And graphics enchanted and blah blah blah. And yeah. I'm gonna put this link in the description as well, where you can find Reshade and how to download it. It's right here, 4.5.2. It's probably higher at this point if you're watching this video like from a year from now. But anyway, it's really, really easy to use. You just, surprise, surprise, download that. Run that. Select the game to install or uninstall from. It's very easy. And if you use Vulkan, uh, it's something with uh, your GTX graphics cards, some newer one use, newer one use, oh my god, newer ones use this, so, pretty simple, you just go wherever you install your Steam, mine is in my uh, local files, I mean local disk, games, Steam, Steam apps, common, if this is too fast just slow it down or uh, pause the video. And what was the game? Prototype? There. Pam. Oh, and if you don't know where your game is, just go in your Steam and uh, right click to your game, properties, local files, browse local files, bam. Right there. So this is where you want to install your reshade. And the uh, exe file is usually what it asks. And I th I think the prototype one uses DirectX 9. I don't remember anymore, but it's old game, so it's probably DirectX 9. Just click that. I already have this, but you can install it on, I mean, override that. And if you don't like it, of course, just press no and it uninstalls that. Simple as that. Do you wish to download a collection of standard effects? Yes, yes. It's really fast, at least on my computer. There we go. Okay. Def just asks you what kind of uh, effects you want. I usually always take all, but this is fine. I'm not, definitely not gonna use all of them. And succeeded. It's done. And next time you launch your game, it should ask you a bunch of stuff. Let me show you. Here we go. If you look at the left side of the top of the screen, it just downloaded. I mean downloaded. It just loaded itself and the effects he wants to use. So how do you uh, equip that or launch that? Well, you press your home button in your uh, keyboard, like so. Yeah, it definitely doesn't look like this first time you're opening this screen. It doesn't show you anything, but uh, that's okay. You just press here. 
you want to name your um, settings whatever you want, like a proto 501 or whatever. Press enter, and then it opens you this section right here. Which you can do so much stuff. Like uh, curves, which means basically contrast. You want add contrast or take it away? Do you want colors? You can add them right there, very very easily. Do you want to sharpen your image? You can do that as well, or all them combined. Boom. And you can play around with these options, of course. FXAA is very good. I should probably go in the game. But by the way, when you're in the screen, go here, settings. And uh, here is the key. It's usually, it reads like, click to uh, set up your shortcut key. So I'm always using F9. And next time, when you're pressing the home screen, it goes away. And always when you're pressing your F9 key, it goes away and comes back. And before anybody says, it's way too colorful and everything, yeah, I didn't mess around these options right now. Do it yourself. Or, uh, I mean, HDR is not real HDR, but it's kind of mimics that, and it's really, really strong, as you can see. So you can do so much with this tool. And it works with the every game I know. Well, except some MMOs or something. So that's that. Oh, and by the way, if you want to use the same settings as I do... I'm gonna leave that link in the description as well. Let me show you how it looks in my game. When you're using the widescreen fix, it's... yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to explain that. I mean, it understands that. You don't need to go here. Don't touch this. It's already full um, HD, whatever your resolution in your screen is, it's already, you know, put in place. When I was already editing the video, I noticed that I never even told you where to put that uh, widescreen wick fix, so, um, okay. So, when you have this link, prototype all resolutions and whatnot, download that wherever. There we go, no viruses or anything. Yep. And uh, yeah, it already figures, I mean, understands all the resolutions, at least I, it should. So I'm usually, I think I'm using this one with a little bit higher FOV, field of vision, if you're wondering. And where you put this, well, very simple in your game file. Once again, here, properties, local files, browse local files, and it goes right here. Just drag and drop. Plop. But I already have that there, so... It definitely doesn't look like this, normally. And... Reshade off. Terrible. Reshade on. Perfect. Like those... What are those? Corners? You can actually see that uh, it's not really straight line. Now it is. Thanks to FXAA. These are my settings. Six, I mean zero point six two five. Luma Sharpen. Those are my settings. Tone map. These are my settings. Levels. HDR. <laughs> that actually okay. A little bit too over the top, but all right. Clarity. Colorfulness. Wow, it's almost colorless without that. Yeah. That's about that. So this video isn't perfect, far from that, but I, I didn't really have any mood for doing this video. But since my three videos, what I did earlier, I mean years ago or something, I don't know. 
uh, they are so out of the date and they doesn't even work anymore. So that's why I wanted to do this video. Hopefully it works. Hopefully it helps. And uh, yeah, check the links and try to figure out yourself because I'm not any tech kind of guy. So I have no idea what I'm doing. So I just wanted to, you know, share this information and hopefully you have a good day or night. And uh, see ya.